year. I think we are still at the beginning of the year. We're still in January, so that means we are still in the celebration mode of New Year. So this is your favorite segment of In Their Own Words with me, Caroline Nyakazi. And today we have a very interesting conversation with our guest, Gideon Miner. And as you know, we are approaching Kale Kamwezi, you know, that month when ladies tend to be so humble for the obvious reasons. Tunataka maua, so lazima hapa tunajituma venye inafa. And that's why we have Gideon today, so that he can take us through. Because, you know, at Science TV is a home of inclusion, and inclusivity is a daily bread. So, have you asked yourself? This moment when you're crashing on this person, but there's a communication barrier. Why? Because this person is deaf and you are a hearing individual. How do you go about it? I don't know. Gideon will tell us more because he's a sign language interpreter. I'm a bombea, Hapa. So, welcome, Gideon. Yeah, Santi Sana. Thank you very much, Karo. Yeah, I can see you're very happy. And thank you for having me. Uh, uh, and a point of correction, I'm not a lady. <laughs> when you may say my stories are called Praia Maua, just to clarify. I don't know if I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to go. A bad way to start the year, though. Sianze kutubunja moya sai. So, Gideon, mm -hmm. so to start with, eh, uh, we'd like you to tell us some of these signs. We, we need to know, like, when we are approaching maybe a deaf person, eh? Maybe Mimi Kama Nyakazi, I'm in love with this man and he's deaf. So, what are the, so the main signs that I'm supposed to, to know, like, to pick za kwanza kwanza yeah uh, the very f the very first first signs is that to show affection or to show your attraction to someone probably you can give them a stare especially for a deaf person because uh, they really depend on the visual uh, they, they, they communicate using visual visual tactics so uh, the very first sign probably you can stay uh, to their eyes and probably and learn a sign like i love you i love you or i need you i want to date you and and those type of signs that they, they can really get uh, attention from you so do you mean that if like Nimenoki say pale and he's deaf? So if I just give him like a stare at a jua Of course, uh much of Huanga in a communicates. <laughs> and if you stare for a deaf person is just like a normal person. The problem is to has key. That is their own that, that is the, the disability they have a ski. Yeah. But uh, just just like a normal person when you stare at them for for for, for a long period of time, it communicates something. The same same way it happens to the deaf people. Okay, so if I'm dealing with a hearing individual, the moment you impart your stare, most probably maybe he'll come approach me and have a conversation. So now this is a deaf person. He has approached me, and I don't know how to communicate in sign language. So how will you help that child person? Because I'm sure there's a person out there, but Hajui. Maybe at a at a snow brew, I wa he's coming towards me. At a rock, because had you at a fanya nini. So what should that person do? I think some uh, tips. Uh, deaf people, deafness wanga zinavari. Kuna another deaf who can actually voice. Uh, there is another uh, another deaf who can't voice, but uh, they can uh, reprint. So make sure if a deaf person approaches you or you approach a deaf person uh, make uh, make sure it's the communication is very clear the the, the lip reading is very clear uh, take your time just uh, spell a word after a word and don't get irritated when they ask you to repeat and also if you are very interested in dating a, a deaf person just uh, learn uh, learn sign language because sign language is fun okay. it's very fun 
No, I think that's where her sister lap comes in. Exactly. <laughs> and again, and again, we have a sister leaf. If if at all, uh, um, um, stack kabisa, you can download an app, and then it will it will help um, uh, have an efficient communication with other person. Yeah. So what are some of the assumption as like the hearing people assume about the deaf the persons? Deaf yeah. Probably. Uh, uh, we assume that they cannot go to a normal date in a normal restaurant. Uh, that is just an assumption. And again, we assume probably uh, when, when it comes to intimacy or uh, those are the questions that, that, that actually I, I ask, uh, I, I get asked most of the time. Like uh, when you are having sex with a deaf person, uh, how, how do you go about it? Because they can't hear themselves, you know, in that yeah. action. But, but uh, deafness, it's their disability. Them being deaf has nothing to do with their sexual preferences or sexual activities. So it's just like a, like, just like a normal person. That is some of the assumptions. At a, probably you need to go slow or something. But uh, those are just uh, some of the assumptions that we get from from the hearing community. Oh, so it's just like treat them like normal people. Just just like a normal person. So have you ever been approached by maybe a person who wants to approach maybe a hearing person or a deaf person who wants to approach a, a hearing person who is interested? No, actually, uh, uh, it's vice versa. A hearing person who wants to approach a deaf person, mm -hmm. that is where they tag along uh, a sign language. Like, kuja, kuja, kuja when you say dear. But for a, for a, for a, for a date mm -hmm. to be seamless, Having a third wheel, having a, an interpreter there as a third wheel, th that will be very uncomfortable. So uh, for a deaf person, they, they know on ways how to approach these things. They know, they know on how to maneuver around the dating scenario. So for them, for, for them they, they prefer teaching you some basic of sign language or they use phone to, to chat or to communicate. And also they can uh, lip read. So the non-verbal cues, that is what they, they really use to drive a point home. So for them, it will be easy to communicate with them, but for you to respond, it will be a, a little difficult. So they, they can actually express something and you use a phone to text back or just try to, to, to find a way of communicating. Okay. But finding an interpreter there. So unajua watu wanathaningi, when you go on a first date with a deaf person and, and then you tag along interpreter, mutaka nae apo, and then if everything goes well, you, you take the interpreter to your place. And then after that, if all goes well, you go, guys get, get married, an interpreter will still stay with you. <laughs> probably live together. <laughs> you, you can imagine, you can imagine uh, having, having that life, having that mentality. But, but it's very, it's very, it's very different. For a deaf person, they will teach you, they will teach you on how to, and again, if you are in, if you are, if you are a hearing person and you want to really approach a deaf person, you know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. You know this person is deaf. So go and learn, learn some sign language and then come approach for a seamless communication. Mm. So has it ever happened to you? Maybe you, a point where you approach by someone to help he yeah, or for, her. Yes, yes. Someone else. For, for, for those initial stages where, where it's like, uh, very the very very first part, uh, very first part of you know approaching someone uh, that way that uh, it happens uh, for for them to ask for their numbers and for them to ask for you know s s something to to initiate the con the communication but after that uh, it's up to them it's so up to them they happens? they need to deal <laughs> to figure it out so what happens if I come to you and come hey Gidi ni me check him se flani na me niti a date I'm not sure how you co communicate during the session because he's deaf. Nasiji sign language. Will you mind coming? <laughs> so will you come a mouth and yambia eh and a true jipange? For me, for me, if if at all we um, communicate through the phone, Mimi Takambia so from there, you just you know find your way find your way through. Because it, it imagine imagine uh, being you know, the, the, there is no trio in, in, in romance. You know, there is no trio in romance. It's something very intimate for, for two people. Having a third wheel over there, it's awkward. It's in Aqua 2, it's a buffer, in a, in a kill the vibe. You cannot really express yourself fully, and then there is no privacy enough. You know, it's, it's all that. 
Eh, msikio umenivunja moyo because I was about to go to one and nilikuwa nani nitakubeba. Sasa so, nitaenda kuongea aje. umebebwa na na someone who's hearing. So there is an extra cost your date, there is an extra cost cost your plate, there is an extra seat there. It's just too much. It's just too much no, for you. to pay. I'm willing to pay for all that. You cater for everything. I just need your assistance ndo nijue kama at least Valentine can but, go through but, but, but if, if if the deaf person who is there is uh, comfortable with an interpreter being there then you, you, you know there is no tree in, 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 in these romantic <laughs> romantic dates yeah. okay 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 tag in a third party in a, in a, in a spoil everything mm. so i think what i've picked from whatever you've said eh, i can tell our viewers that now that you're approaching valentines eh, love language na sign language ni kama ni kitu moja <laughs> yes so the moment like you buy flowers for that deaf lady you've been admiring for a long time atakuwa sharp at a message sign language utajifunza with time i guess this is the time now to go for it exactly that's what i've seen love language and uh, sign language i guess i think the Uh, the deaf community have more advantage than us but because I've seen one love language play in our favor in a way they they get they get the concept very quick yeah kuna vile zinafana zinafanana and so what are some of the challenges that you maybe mtu ata encounter on the way when you want to date this person na sasa unaona hizo communication barriers na sasa kama usha tu discourage kwa kuambia usili taga anitapita actually communication is one of the barriers is one of the challenges when, when you want to face to, to date a deaf lady mm. because uh, as in, in the normal uh, setup za za relationship communication is very essential mm. now you can imagine uh, having two barriers barriers of communication and uh, and also the communication itself mm. you know so w- w- when you want to to data def- that, that's why i'm saying uh, learning sign language it's of essence and then be as comfortable and make make the other person as comfortable as possible w- when you're talking mm. and also if you want to take to take uh, her on a date or uh, they want to take you on a date make sure you find a very suitable place for them because for for, for, uh, for a normal for a normal date Uh, a, a comfortable space is somewhere in the corner where you know it's silent and everybody it's only the two of you yeah. but for a deaf person if you take them to a corner uh, the, and they depend on 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 visual and probably on that corner kuna giza so you see you block the communication yeah. so make sure make sure you uh, the lighting is very clear make sure they can see whatever you're saying make sure uh lip reading is very nice and don't be offended when they ask you to repeat because they will ask you to repeat more than once so you just go be prepared uh, mentally that uh, be ready to repeat be ready be ready to repeat oh well that's that's amazing so at least now i have learned something what i would like you to explain to us or maybe to just share with us eh? because i'm sure even our viewers most of them they want to know like no i want to approach this person mm-hmm. and and you have already shown us like some of the sign language related to love that you're supposed to use eh? so like when you come to the evolving technology because technology is evolving very fast mm-hmm. and uh, we have like emerging trends killer siku we have new things coming in new things coming in na sasa kama sasa hii ukitokea kwa mtaa utasikia mtu amekwambia na kulombotov sasa vitu kama hizo so when communicating with a deaf person how you supposed to sign that maybe utakuwa umenifunza if you want to tell him i love you i'm supposed to do this but sasa kuna hizo lugha za mtaani So how do you go about that? <laughs> I think I think for a hearing person uh, getting the niche of of a deaf slang is really difficult. Even for us interpreters kuna kuna two uh, slangs zingine zenye we are like ah what have we even said mm. you know. So for them it actually applies to their community. Mm. For the deaf community and using those slangs it's easier. But for a for a hearing person using those cues and and slangs that we we get you know uh, they they have their own language they have their own culture they, they are their own people you know yeah. it's a total it's a whole community mm. so for us uh, if you try to bring those uh, they cannot relate with whatever we are saying mm. you know and, and and even making jokes and uh, making making a joke you might make a joke and she doesn't or they don't get them they don't don't find it funny mm. it's because they cannot relate with with the joke 
for us, you can say something and you're like, oh, I can relate it to, to something that happened or to, to an activity that happened and it makes it funny. Yeah. But for them, they, they don't relate it like that. Mm-hmm. So they have their own language, they, they have their own jokes, and for them, they can tell you something, they think they're making, they, 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 they're making a joke and you're like, ah, it's, this thing is not funny. Mm-hmm. So it's just a whole community, it's a whole bunch of... What was the question again? <laughs> It was about those slangs. Oh, you just made me understand that. Yes, yes. They also have their own slang, but you still see to Konazetu. Oh, but I shouldn't use inye tunatumia mtaani, thinking he will understand. Because they cannot relate. Uh-huh. They cannot relate to, to the slang. They cannot relate to, to those jokes. Uh-huh. They just can't. Oh. Mm. Uh, so, now this take us to when texting with this person. That means there are some words they shouldn't use. Maybe they will not understand. Yes, Mama. very true. Mm-hmm. Especially when you text, te- texting a deaf person, don't use Kiswahili because uh, sign language is founded in an English word. Mm-hmm. It's not English, but it's sign language, but it's the foundation, it's getting the words from English. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a whole language. Sign language is a, is, is a whole language. KSL is a Kenya sign language, it's a whole language. It's not English. Because mm-hmm. sometimes they shall say like you communicating you as an interpreter you communicating with that deaf person eh? and kuna vitu hata elewa so you finger spell now I'm taking it to a point where we are texting na hatu elewani so so yes exactly when you text a deaf person especially the one who are not very much educated just use the very the simplest English. Mm-hmm. Just make sure the English is simple as possible. At a way, imagine, imagine uh, someone is using uh, jargon and he's just throwing and bombarding you with words. You're like, <laughs> this word, umetafta Google, another word, it will be boring. You know, so it's the same same thing for them. If you want to create a connection, deaf people need affection, they need love, they need connection, they need all these things, yeah. just the, the way, the way we, we do. So make sure the, the communication is as simple and use the simplest form of English. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. I'm sure you've helped a lot of people there. Exactly. Anyone who was having like a crush Mahali, yeah. and I don't know how to go about it, but I know how to go about it. But I don't know how to Maybe I, I ran yeah, to someone. <laughs> Maybe I, I start running to someone and say, Oh, Kaka, Manza Kukuja Sababu. Valentine in a Caribbean. So, Gideon, thank you for coming thank and thank you for coming. sharing that interesting conversation yeah, with us. So maybe you have something you can share with the community, so that's maybe something they don't know or they have been assuming mm-hmm. the even in the deaf community or something they should know. Ama, they should stop assuming. Yeah. A, a deaf person is just a normal person. A deaf person, though I'm talking as a hearing person, I'm not talking uh, as, as, as a deaf person. Probably a deaf person can really explain this as because uh, it's something that really speaks from the heart and speaks from a point of knowledge. For me, from what I've learned from the deaf community, there are people who really need love, who need affection, who needs all these things that we need. Uh, their, their, their deafness, it, it has nothing, uh, it, it doesn't have any relation with the dating, the dating world. You can date a deaf person, you can, you can have a very successful dating experience with a deaf person. So try it out, go there, be free, learn sign language because it's very fun. And communicating with a deaf person is awesome. So go there and, you know, pursue your feelings. Don't let anything to hold you back. Thank you, Gideon. So, you heard it all. Gideon Amelezea that. As we, we all, it, it, it relates to everyone. Eh? When you're in love, you sacrifice. And that sacrifice is what you should do when you're in love with, with a deaf person if you're a hearing individual. Exactly. You need to sacrifice. If you can sacrifice for your hearing, for a hearing person, so, why should you not sacrifice? So that you can win that soul. So that you can win that person you've been admiring. Just because he is deaf, just because she's deaf, doesn't mean that you give up. No, no, you're coming to Valentine, to Mesema. Love language is a language, it's not a naive. Go ahead. No, no, it's a chocolate. No, it's a maua. Peleke your dem. Atakuwa shenge box. But, si jasema iko ashwad. Si seme nyakazi. Ali, ali to mislead in any way. Don't, don't take nyakazi's word. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, thank you for having us. Thank you for staying tuned. And we promise that it's just the beginning of the air. And that says it's just the beginning of great content. Stay tuned. Till next time. Bye.